hatching itself is a natural process. Each embryo must go through hatching. It means the embryo on day five, on day six, must get outside this protective shell. The good quality embryos have the ability to break out, break through this uh, uh, zona, break through this shell al alone and, and get out and then can implant. We must also tell that the assisted hatching itself, it's done on day three embryos and it's done with a laser. We do with a laser a small hole on the zona pellucida. Now, this can have theoretically two consequences. Uh, the assisted hatching with the laser may harm uh, the embryo. The probability for that is very low. There are some studies which is showing that doing an assisted hatching would raise on day five, on day six, would raise the chance uh, of, identical, of creating identical twins. So this, the assist attaching might raise a little bit the chance uh, happening of this. But in the standard way, we always do assist attaching on embryos, which where we want to do the biopsy on day five or on day six. When we want to take sample for genetic testing, we need to have a hatching blastocyst. We need to have to get to the, uh, the cells which contains the genetic information. So we do assisted hatching on each PGS, PGD cycle. It is really uh, more about the history of the patient. It is definitely not for everybody. It is not definitely not, uh, would not benefit everybody from the assisted hatching. I think that the patients with previous implantation failures would benefit the most from, uh, from assisted hatching.